Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about mucosal infections caused due to bacteria and fungi. And this is the part two. In case you have not watched part one, I will link it in the description below. Please do watch so that you will know different mucosal lesions caused due to the virus. And now in today's topic, I'm going to talk about syphilis, tuberculosis, gonorrhea, and scarlet fever, and mucosal lesions caused due to uh, candida as well as uh, I'll be covering mucormycosis as well as deep fungal infections. So let's begin. So first we are going to talk about syphilis. Syphilis is caused when a person comes in contact with a patient suffering with treponema pallidum. All right. So it has three lesions, um, primary lesion, secondary lesion and tertiary lesion. So what happens in primary lesion is you can see canker that is all white, uh, whitish red lesions can be seen in secondary lesions. You can see oral mucus patches. You can see condyloma, condyloma acuminatum. Condyloma acuminatum is nothing but warts that can be seen in the genital regions. And you can see maculopapular rashes all over the body. Now, tertiary lesions are the gammas that is uh, mostly seen in um, liver, but it can be seen in other places also. It is nothing but you see uh, skin is um, uh, elevated as well as it's a granuloma. And your central nervous system and CVS is also involved. Congenital syphilis is an in utero infection with multiple stigmata, including Hutchinson's triad. You have notched incisors, deafness, ocular keratitis and mulberry molars. This is very important, Hutchinson's triad, as well as how is this infection caused? That is caused because of treponema palladium. Now coming to tuberculosis. What happens is when this bacterium micro bacterium tuberculosis is present in the air and then it is inhaled by a person, then the person gets infected by this disease. And here you can see oral non-healing chronic ulcers followed by lung infections. TB can be seen associated with debilitating diseases as well as patients with AIDS. Now, in these patients, you can see um, in the histology, you can see multinucleated Jain cells, also known as Langerhans Jain cells, which is nothing but cheesy granuloma. So you can see cesating necrosis is very common feature of TB. Now, the multiple drug therapy used to treat is isoniazid, rifampin, and ethambutol. Now, there are three types of tuberculosis, primary, secondary, and miliary type of tuberculosis. In the primary tuberculosis or the gone complex, so also known as gone complex, what happens over here is the inhaled bacteria, it gets surrounded in a granuloma. So whatever this bacteria is there, it gets surrounded in a granuloma. Now this undergoes necrosis. Okay, that is also called as cesating necrosis. Now what happens is infection will reach hilar lymph node of lung. Now hilar lymph node of the lung is nothing but the roof of the lung. So it will reach the lungs. And from there, it will cause infection. Now, secondary tuberculosis means that infection will spread. So this is more widespread disease with cavitation. Miliary tuberculosis means it has a systemic spread of the disease. So what did we study in tuberculosis? We studied that it's because of inhalation of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Here, the ulcers are non-healing chronic ulcers, and it can be main feature is Langerhans Jain cells can be seen over here. And there are three types, primary, secondary, and miliary. Primary means gone complex, where this bacteria gets accumulated in granuloma. Then it undergoes cesating necrosis. Then it gets attacked at the hilar lymph node of the lung and that is how this complex is being formed. Next, when it spreads and cavitates itself, it comes under the secondary type of tuberculosis and in miliary, there is a complete systemic spread and the drugs that is used to treat is isoniazid, rifampin and ethambutol. So I hope you're clear with syphilis and tuberculosis. Syphilis is because of treponema palladium and there are three lesions, primary, secondary, tertiary. Primary is 
oral canker. Secondary, you see warts, you also see maculopapular rashes and some patches. In tertiary lesions, you see gummas and CNS and CVS involvement. And congenital syphilis, very important features is Hutchinson's triad. Now, what are those three things in the triad? It's notched incisors, deafness, and mulberry molars, and ocular keratitis. Now coming to gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease, which is caused by Miseria gonorrhea. And the oral manifestation is usually the oral pharyngitis, but this is very rarely seen. Now coming to actinomycosis. So whenever you come under uh, this name, you might think this is a fungal disease. No, this is actually caused because of actinomyces israeli, and this is a bacterium. This is an opportunistic bacterium. It's not a fungi, so just remember that. And um, chronic jaw infection may follow dental surgery. It can occur also in head and neck, and if it happens in head and neck, it is called a cervicofacial actinomycosis. And as it is a bacterial infection, it is treated with high dose of penicillin. So again, it is caused because of actinomyces israeli, and it can be seen in head and neck, also called a cervicofacial actinomycosis, and it is treated with long-term high dose penicillin. Now coming to scarlet fever. Scarlet fever, the most important feature is strawberry tongue, where on the tongue, you can see this whole portion will be white and raised fungiform papillae can be seen. It is fungiform papillae. The red color dots which you see is because of fungiform papillae. And in the first lecture of the oral pathology series, I have spoken about oral hairy leukoplakia. I've also spoken about this in the last class. That is part one of the mucosal lesions where you see like um, hairy means raised filiform papillae can be seen in the oral uh, leukoplakia. Whereas in the scarlet fever, it is the fungiform papillae that is seen. And this is treated with penicillin to prevent complications of rheumatic fever. So in order to prevent the complications of rheumatic fever, this is treated with penicillin. So what happens is this is an infection caused because of group A streptococci. So in strep throat, what happens is if you if it pro, it is present for a prolonged period of time, that can lead to scarlet fever. So what are the symptoms that you can see with the strep throat is fever, pharyngitis, malaise. Children develop a skin rash caused because of an erythrogenic toxin which causes the scarlet fever. So in the scarlet fever, what did we study? We studied that it is caused because of group A streptococci. Here you see whenever uh, in children, the scarlet fever condition can be seen um, when because of an erythrogenic toxin. So what happens is there is fever, sore throat, as well as malaise. And strawberry tongue is nothing but fungiform papillae can be seen in the form of dots. And there will be a white coat with red inflamed fungiform papillae. Now it is treated with penicillin to prevent complications of rheumatic fever. Now coming to fungal infections. So till now, whatever we studied were the mucosal lesions caused because of bacteria from now it's fungal infections. So the fungi causing candidiasis is candida albicans. So this is present in most of the normal flora also, but fungus overgrowths following predisposing factor. So how are the lesions over here is they are white and um, so suppose you see some white lesion here, you try to remove it, you try to remove the lesion. Now you can see like dots where you can also see bleeding and it will be completely red. So you that is called as oral thrush. Okay, and uh, chronic lesions are erythematous, they are reddish. And specific type of chronic candidiasis are known as denture sore mouth, angular chilitis, at the lip region, you can see median rhomboid glossitis can also be seen. Median rhomboid glossitis is nothing but a loss of lingual papilla. Okay, so what happens in the case of uh, median rhomboid glossitis is there is loss of lingual papilla. Okay, so let me draw this. loss of lingual papilla okay 
So candidiasis or oral thrush, it is pseudomembranous is a type of it where I have explained that situation where you try to remove the white portion and then when you try to remove it becomes reddish and you can also observe some bleeding that happens because it is a uh, lesion which is erythematous and um, other features that you can see is also like uh, soreness of the mouth and at the corner of the lips you can see uh, reddish discoloration and median rhomboid glossitis can also be seen. Topical treatment, the gels and like the uh, topical method of treating this is by using nistatin and clotrimazole and systemic treatment is by fluconazole and ketoconazole. Now coming to aspergillosis, mucormycosis, rhizopus. Rhizopus is due to the spore inhalation and these are pretty much because they are present in the form of spores and then when they are inhaled it causes disease but mucormycosis is important right now in this current situation because many patients who are suffering with uh, COVID are supposed to uh, also show symptoms of mucormycosis. Okay, so it can be present as destructive ulcerations where a person can lose his eyesight, a person can become deaf. So here, uh, intense antifungal therapy is indicated along with controlling the contributing condition. Now here, what I have written is in the regions uh, in United States, in the U.S. Northeast region, there are spores which can cause blastomycosis. In U.S. Southwest Valley, Southwest, it is also called as valley fever. That disease is called as cochidomycosis. In U.S. West, the uh, fungal disease is called cryptomycosis. And in U.S. Midwest, hist histoplasmosis can be seen. So let me write it again in different parts of U.S. What are the different fungal diseases? So what are the different fungal diseases that you can see? is in the U.S. Northeast, the spores can cause blastomycosis. And in U.S. Southwest, so here I'm saying Northeast, here I'm saying Southwest, here I'm saying U.S. West, and here I'm saying Midwest. So Southwest can lead to cochidomycosis, and in the West region can lead to cryptomycosis. And in the Midwest, it can lead to histoplasmosis. All right. So this is about fungal diseases. And I'll just give you a very quick review. Candidiasis, what happens? It's oral thrush where you try to, you see that there is whitish lesion you try to remove it you can notice bleeding and the person can also have angular colitis and median rhomboid glossitis and treatments are antifungals scarlet fever is mainly seen because of bacteria infection that is group a streptococci children suffering with strep throat can also present with this fever where their tongue might appear whitish with some red dots so similar to that of strawberry, but the papillae responsible for the red dots over here is fungiform papillae. And this has to be treated with penicillin to prevent complications of rheumatic fever. Now coming to actinomycosis. Actinomycosis is a bacterial infection mucosal lesion, not a fungi related. And that is caused because of actinomyces is rare. Gonorrhea is STD disease caused by Neisseria gonorrhea and this is not common and if it is present that is mainly oral pharyngitis can be seen. Tuberculosis is mainly caused because of inhalation of mycobacterium tuberculae and here you see oral non-healing chronic ulcers and uh, here you can see um, what happens basically is this bacterium when the person inhales it, it gets uh, formed into a granuloma and that undergoes necrosis and that gets deposited in the lung and from there it spreads. The treatment is isoniazid, rifampin and ethambutol. Now we have syphilis that is uh, happens when a patient suffering with it uh, has um, sexual interaction and 
that's how this disease is spread and it is caused because of treponema palladium. Primary lesion is canker, secondary lesion is oral mucosal patches and reddish maculopapular rashes can be seen. Also condyloma acuminatum, that is the warts can be seen. Tertiary lesions is gammas, that is like completely necrosis can be seen, which will spread to uh, liver and different regions. CNS and CVS in, uh, involvement can also be seen. Important thing is congenital syphilis, where a, a mother might be suffering with syphilis and it will cause the baby also to have this condition called as congenital syphilis, where Hutchinson's triad can be seen where there is notched incisors, deafness, and oral ocular keratitis. So I hope you have understood about different mucosal lesions caused due to virus, bacteria, and fungi. In case you have any questions for me, you can leave it below in the comments. And if you do not like my video yet, please do like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.